Gibraltar hoping that Moses will lead them cross to victory. Moses! Christ! Hey! My God! I don't think we have to die. We're about to start this. Encounter the winner of this match. Ready, ready, ready. The winner of this match will go through to the semi finals as well. As he comes up and bows to the bins. That's a brilliant start from Yai. Come in, Come on, Romy, man. Better than that. That's a brilliant piece of feeling from Romy. Preventing the boundary. Catch you, man. Jaga, come in. Jaga. Come in, Jaga. Come in, Jaga. Come on, Jaga. Come on, Jaga. Come on, Jaga. Jaga. Come in, 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 Jaga. Showing Shopping his part and style. Shopping keep. As Yai comes up and bows him, it's a swing and a miss. It was a chance for a stop. Watch him, man. But the wicked keeper fumbles the ball. My God. And the Chep Chep live to fight another day. As Yai to resume bowling comes up and bows to Chep Chep. Come on, Chepaz! Rasta the field, man. Rasta Good shot. feeling, Rasta. Good feeling, Rasta. He's the team with the best bowling attack. Gibraltar Royals. Also, Reddills. With a brilliant bowling attack as well. This match is all about bowling. And now, Bob G. About to bowl. As Bob G comes up and bows to Lavinza. Pulled away for six. Over the head of Mashkat. You know, watch much ball Easy, man. And that's another hit, that's six runs. Brilliant piece of timing from Labenz. Alright, to 13 without loss. And Pop G not aiming properly at the stumps. As, as Pop G comes up, throws a grenade. That was a brilliant grenade. Come back in. 
And Pop G aiming at the stumps comes up and boasts the Dobbins. And that's. Sharp like a whiskers. Yeah, true. We want to big up our sponsors. Uh -huh. Dr. Uh -huh. Sports Club. Bounce. Kicks Fashion. Benzaman. Everstick Media. Jamaica Street Sports as Pop G comes up and boasts to Chep Chep. Come on, Chepas, long time there's no load six. And Chepas still yet to get off the mark. And that's the end of the second over. We also want to big up Barry Bar, V Barnett. V Barnett Grocery. And on the 24th of April, we have the cake sale of $1,000. Also on May 29th, it's the bingo from the Top Town Sports Club. Grand prize of $30,000, only $1,000 to enter. Come on out, bingo lovers, on May 29th. But don't forget the cake sale, which is on May 21st. Yeah, it comes up in bowl. That's a brilliant delivery from him. As, yeah, it comes up in bowl. Still happens. Still not able to hit him out of the park. and miss a dirt one as the eye comes up and boasts the labins again yes, and it's taken that's the first wicket to tumble for Gibraltar. We forgot to announce in Labin's contract. He hit two sixes, so that's some yam. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. And Labin's goes for 14. The score is As yeah, it comes up and goes to. Come on, timers! Come on! And a wicked maiden for Yai. And that's a brilliant over from him. And that's right, yeah, over man. number three. It's Gibraltar's bowling discipline putting Red Hills under pressure. After three overs, Red Hills struggling on 14 for one. And Chip Chip yet to get off the mark. Full 
Simple as that. And that's Chep Chep trying to play. Good, good stop. Good stop. Good stop, Rasta. Good stop, Rasta. Unable to get out the mark. Is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chep still not able to get out the mark as yet. And that as he tee off that six. And the score moves on to 20 for one. My God. Going to over number four. And PUBG. And PUBG comes up and bows to Chet. Yeah, man, very. And that's the first wide by Gibraltar. As PUBG comes up and boosts the Yam. And at the end, at the end of the fourth over, it's 21 for two. She a bling. Bling, she a bling. She a bling us today. And now we're about to see Mashkat. Some brilliant piece of bowling so far by Gibraltar. As Mashkat comes up and bows to Timey. Timey not timing his shot. He's playing defensively. And that's a welcome bone for for Redians. Score moves on to 26. 
Kitchen to rock. Score is now 25 for three. If you have Billy Zoffley, you know what they want. Red Hills. And Gregory almost dropped that catch. Got a second chance. Yes, yes, and sometimes you wonder why Gibraltar allows so much runs to be hit from them. They have a good bowling attack. President, sit down. Hitting high in the air and it goes for six. Alright, Yum. Alright, Yum. Oh, I six them that. I six them that. And another hit from The white flower formula has been working for him. Such a brilliant hitting. And all of a sudden, Red is starting the hit back. Ooh, that's a brilliant piece of bowling. Inside edge for four. Jokestar is still waiting on that six to join the nine in his, in his jersey. Yeah, man, I don't know how to live with it. Scores now. And four more teams. Come on, man, somebody needs to work at the corner. And that's 46 for three. Larue trying to show his leadership. And 21 runs. 21 runs from this over so far. As Mashda comes up and moves to Laru again. No, no. Get up off my back, no. And Gregory used up all his might. If we run in there, the single. Hey, listen to me. I want to know where the problem is. The ball is nearly a trickle. Yeah? Says so if it go fast, you can't say, all right, you go, go come to me. I'm going to come to me and kick you back to the man. I'm not going to run. 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 As Mashda comes up and boasts the yam. All right. Taken and All right. And now Red Hills are in more trouble. Losing the room. Big seal. Big seal. Big seal. Big seal. You know, I'm not. Wild it. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm not wild And we're about to investigate Kova. Captain Romy seemed to be happy so far even though he lost the toss because he said if he won he would have bat first knowing his bowlers can do the job and so far they're doing very well 
We're about to see Pigeon bowling over number seven. That's a brilliant delivery from him. As Pigeon comes up and bowls to him again. As Pigeon comes up and bows to and Big Low unable to hit he's still on duck as Pigeon comes up and bows to him Gibraltar's bowling making the game a one-sided affair so far and that's a maiden over from Pigeon and at the end of over number 7 the score is 46 and I'm wondering what's going on with Romy Romy is asking Christopher if he played the shot obviously he played the shot but he didn't connect and Doug's Lord diving on the grass as if it's sponge. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Law. Brilliant piece of bowling from Frisco. <laughs> And that's a white by Frisco. <laughs> And Frisco comes up and bows to yeah. that one has connected and that six and low low with a low six takes a score on to 54 
score is 54. The score is now 54 for five. As Pigeon comes up and bows to Christopher, a swing and a miss. As we're, we're now into the ninth over, we're about to witness the lowest ever runs total by a team. And that's connected to the bat, and it's another six for Redis. This is the penultimate over of the innings. The score is now 60. What? Nobody? And another single to the total. And Pigeon comes up. I mean, I say, no six, no in there. Yeah, man. Yo, what did then? The score remain on 61 for five. And that's a swing and a miss. And at the end of over number nine, the score is 61 for five. And this is the lowest ever runs. We are about to witness not even Roma. <laughs> it don't it don't get scratchy. It don't get scratchy. And there is a chance for a run out. And John Slot prevented the. Come on, clear him on our road. Come on, clear him. I'm not stop you. Yes, clear him. Clear it clean. I got you. I got you with that even four. Clear it clean. In done. In done. In done. In done. And another wicket for Mashkat.
is 6.3 runs per over. We're about to start the innings of Gibraltar Royals. Ready, ready. Fifty-one, seventy-one, JR. You have block a car. You have block a vehicle. Blocking. And that was the first ball by Chip Chip, who seemed to be traveling a bit of late. Comes up and bows to Romy. And there it is. Is it a catch? It's a duck. And Romy goes for scoring. And Chep Chep suddenly 51 71 JR White Toyota Axia, you're blocking a vehicle. You man, you man, I'm not dealing with no man. I'm five ducks, you get one time. It's a five ducks, you one time. And Romy goes <laughs> without scoring. A must man. And it's a wide signal by the umpire. Why not? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what I As Chep Chep turns, comes up and bows to Pigeon. Yes, Pigeon! Playing defensively. Watch him, Pigeon! And Chep Chep. It seemed as if they revoked his green card. He's not traveling today. Right now, you ball right through. Turns. Watch your ball and pitch him. <laughs> Comes up and bows to Pigeon. And that's a white signal by the umpire. And Chip Chip if you follow him, comes you up and bows to Pigeon. Yeah, yeah. Go and at the end of the first over, the score is two for one. And that goes for six. And Gregory says thank you very much.
And the score moves on to eight. For one. We don't need me to win this No, sir. Oh, good ball, Chloe. Watch them bounce there, watch them bounce there. Trying to find a proper line and length to bow to Gregory. Watch your ball! <laughs> hey! I saw you are for this Liverpool, man. Pussy one, I can go on. We give up the season, no? Stop. Yeah, hold on. Why don't you block? Me not block none. <laughs> yeah? Me can't afford it. Get up here! Hey, me plan to block. Bad boy. Eh? And it's a no ball signal by the umpire, so it's a free hit. How much bad word, man, sir? And it's a wide. So the free hit still stands. And with the rules of the free hit, you cannot be pulled or caught. And it's another white, so the free hit still stands. The score moving on steadily for Gibraltar. It's now 11 for 1. What you know, Terence? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Then you run a bit. You run a bit. So if him the dark, I say go. And clear, he comes up and bows to Gregory. See, see, yeah, 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 We know of Claire coming up to bow to Gregory again. Finds a gap for a single. And now we're about to see Yam, who is still trying to protest the top tone that they should sign him wearing the red shoes. And Gregory use all his strength. There's a chance for Renault and Yam trying to find the fielder. He finds the keeper. Right, good man. Good man. And the score moves on to 13 for one. As Yam comes up and bows the pigeon, and he's in his stride, and he goes for six. Well, he have company. Yeah. And that was a message by Pigeon to world at pace. Wiley! As Yam. Wiley, you have company. <laughs> Comes up and bows to Pigeon again. Uh, Trying to play the cut shot. The score moving on steadily. It's 19 for one. Only 62, 63 required to win. Where's the Charlie? I want this week. 
Yeah, I'm trying to hold the thought about their traveling with the required run rate so far. As Yam comes up and bows to Pigeon. And after such display by Red Hills, it seemed as if they're down the pecking order to qualify for the semifinals. Out of the four teams that are fighting for a spot, 62 runs from 10 overs is not a good run rate. They now put Scheme into a good position. The score is still 19. They're traveling on the required rate so far. And that's in the And the score is now 19 for 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you check up here, okay, here. Look, you check up from there. 19. Pigeon, that can't win your sign up. Licky, have a licky ball. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. There's a chance for a run out right. and Yam fumbles. Catch you off the gila men's gini out, you know? I'm going to talk about the body man run. Pigeon, and a and a PPA club going about soon. The score moves on to 21 for two. <laughs> Batsman back to the pavilion. Are the openers? Yes. I mean, one one. Go easy. Batsman back to the pavilion. Are the openers? Gregory and Romy for Duck and the seven respectively. The score is moving on steadily. It's now 22 for two. And, the overs. <laughs> and Red is trying to pile the pressure on as Chep Chep back onto the attack, trying to take wickets. RZ trying to make himself look good. Skip our own man. He's bowled by Chep Chep for one. And after that brilliant piece of bowling from Gibraltar, it seems as if they themselves are about to collapse. And this derby game is very dangerous. I've been seem a bit happy with his bowlers. <laughs> We're into over number five, and the score is 22 for three. As Chep Chep comes up and bows to Mashkat. There's a chance for a run out. And Pigeon about to face Chep Chep, who is bowling over the wicket. Around the wicket, sorry. And this match is lack of entertainment. As Chep Chep 
Up and coming. Comes up and bounce the pigeon. <laughs> Another single. Yeah, man. Batsman rotating the strike. In an innings like this, singles are very important. The score moves on to 24 for 3. We're into over number 5. That's Chep Chep comes up and bows to Mash Cat. Yes, Mash. See him, 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 Mash. This is a match of the bowlers. We all knew it before even the game. That's an edge. And he was saved. And I've been smiling. As Chep Chep comes up and bows to Mash Cat. Yes. That's what's even, eh? Yeah, man. Mash Cat, watch your wicket. And after traveling in every game so far, Chep Chep has come back into the game that matters. It's the game that will put them into the semi finals. I'm sure Gibraltar don't want to lose today. <laughs> Junior comes up and bows to Pigeon is a wide. I'm wondering how many wides are about to go in this over. So far, the innings extras has been six wide and a no ball by Red Hills. As Junior comes up and bows to Pigeon, trying to flick it at the backward square, but. He was unsuccessful. <laughs> and this match is as dead as day. Much nicer, double. And now, Pigeon hoping to connect one of those. He hoped to hit. Junior because he's wearing that Chelsea jersey and Man United after that emphatic win comes up and bows the pigeon it's in there and it goes for six the score moves on to 31 for three we're into over. <laughs> into over number six. As Juna comes up and bows to Pigeon. That's a better line and length to the left under. Swinging and a miss outside of half stump. He has got his run up. As Pigeon trying to capitalize, that's a brilliant piece of line and length since the ball has changed his run up into a shorter one. You don't need to run up. I know I've been here already. And and four runs. Signal by the umpire. Come on, Evans, man. Come on, Oh, God, man. They need it, man. Oh, God, man. And that's four runs. The keeper and the deep pocket square. As Kova. Comes up and bows the pigeon. <laughs> and the game is still in the balance. At the end of the sixth over, the score is 35. This one makes it seven over.
are trying to hit six, you will get out. This is a game of bowlers. As Yam comes up to bow to Mashkat. A swing and a miss. Brother, I'm not here. I'm not just watching the game. I'm not here. You don't take a look at the and Yam comes up and bows to Mashkat. And that's another swing and a miss. After this, that's two over living, man. And Yam comes up and bows to Mashkat. Another single, not another duck ball. It's four duck ball from the over so far. The pressure is back on to the Gibraltar team. As Yam comes up and bows to Mashkat. And he's bowling. And Gibraltar are finding themselves in a bit of trouble after such brilliant bowling display. And the match is boiling down to a dramatic finish after six. A wicked maiden. And we're about to witness we're about to witness a wicked maiden is pop g yam comes up and bows to pop g yeah. and after a misfield it still prevented the single and it's a wicked maiden by yam the vice skipper of reddles and it's now 28 runs required from 18 and we're about to see the man with the run up and the man who can't run ladies and gentlemen this is one of the most entertaining game of the t10 so far the lowest run chase and the batsman made it seem impossible to get I'm sure scheme wish they had to chase 63 to win and it's a wide signal by the umpire the score moves on to 36 for four and we are into over number eight and this is a game of bowlers pigeon batting off middle stump which means defense <laughs> So Pigeon, a swing and a miss. If he was facing off, if he was batting off half stumpish, he could have cut that one. But instead he didn't give himself any room. And the score remains at 36. Another cut shot and they are appealing. The wicket keeper seemed a bit animated. I'm wondering if he was bought by Australia. As Christopher Cup goes again and it's in the air. And it goes for four. And feeling like those will cost you the game. As Christopher comes up and bows to pitch him. wide signal by the umpire and the score remains on 41 <laughs> for four and after Romy dismissed for a duck Gibraltar struggling to make the 63 come on man we're still into over 
We're about to start over number nine. The penultimate over. As Kova about to board the penultimate over. Comes up and balls to PUBG. So it's now 22 from 11. 22 runs from 11. We want to big up some of our sponsors, Everslick Media, Jamaica Street Sports, for their consistent viewing of the game. It's now 22 required from 10. And we also want to big up Bounce. Pencilman, Kicks Fashion, Barry Bar as Juna comes up and bows to Pop. He's mounting! And he's mounting! And the pressure mount up on Gibraltar! Gibraltar got the easiest of chances to beat one of their rivals. And yet they find it as mission impossible. They now require. They require they summon Frisco Kid to the crease. We also want to big up Top Town Sports Club. <coughs> and don't forget their bingo. May 29, $1,000 on entry. And it's. And a $30,000 grand prize. As Thunderfoot Candy. Jumping on the boundary rope. Happy. And Kova, Sterides boss, comes up and bows to Frisco. <laughs> we are investigating Kova. As Frisco showing his friskiness. Yo, what you stop? La Benz. What you Chris? Standing up to the crease. And another dot ball, so it's now eight required from 22 required from eight legal deliveries. This is a nail biting finish, the lowest ever run chase in the history of T10. Only 63 to get, and that's a hit. And the fielder is under it. And clearly, clearly seem not to see the deliveries. And it's a single. As Frisco tried to prevent himself from making a duck. And at the end of the over. End of over number nine. It's 42 for five. So it's now mission impossible. It's the last over of the game. It's the man with the consistent run up. If he runs faster than that, I'm sure he will faint. It's get up. The only over he got up And it's the over that should take Radius over the line. My God. And that's played in the gap. And uh, only a single from the over. The score moves on to 43. The score moves on to 43 for five. Giving Pigeon the strike. Who is the only recognized batsman left for Gibraltar. Yeah. And it goes yeah. The score moves on to 49. 49 for 5. 14 required to win from 4 deliveries. And get the box. Comes up and bows to Pijima swing and a miss. It's now 14 required from 3. Meaning boundaries are required from every delivery. 2 6 and the 4 and the match is Gibraltar's. We are into the final three deliveries. As get the box comes up and balls in. And that's another that ball. And get the fox. And get the fox seem very happy. And after just needing 63 runs to win from 60 deliveries. Traveling at 6.03 runs per over. We are about to witness a disgrace in T10. As get the fox. Two deliveries.
deliveries remaining comes up the man with the slowest run up comes up and bows to pigeon Another six is hit, then the game is Gibraltar's. And the score moves on to 55. And the final ball of the over. And it's in the air, is it going to be taken? And Gibraltar has pulled off a miraculous victory. Ready, sorry, has pulled off a miraculous victory over Gibraltar. Gibraltar still in the field. And only 63 runs required to win. Oh Another from height has made it to the semi-finals. So it's now down to Mission Impossible for Gibraltar.